What's up guys, some of you may have noticed I haven't uploaded a video in a while, and the reason for that is, um, I haven't really been playing Raid. Now, I do play every day, I log in, I hit clan boss, I pool up my energy so I can help my clan during CVC, I use my Hydra keys to help with Hydra Clash, but I'm not really playing the game. I'm just doing literally the bare minimum, I'll do my 5 arena battles for the energy, and just accumulate as much energy as I can, so I could help my clan during CBC. That's about the extent of what I'm doing. I'm not really passionate about Raid anymore. Now, I haven't quit. This isn't like I'm a clickbaity, oh, I quit Raid video. I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on in my life. Recently, a video game called Baldur's Gate 3 came out. And it completely changed the way I see video games. Um, so, I used to be a World of Warcraft player. And during those many, many years I spent playing WoW, any video game that came out, if it wasn't WoW or a new expansion of WoW, I would say, eh, that game sucks, not interested. I was a very uptight, I was kind of a WoW snob, I guess. And the only reason I started playing Raid is because I started a family. And I didn't have time to spend eight hours a day grinding an MMO every day because I had a job and I had a wife and kids. So when Raid came along, it gave me a game that I could play that didn't require 100% of my undivided attention. It was really nice. So Raid was really one of the first games, aside from WoW, that I've really ever played to this extent. I've been playing Raid for three and a half years. All day, every day, for the last three and a half years. <laughs> but I've just got burnt out on it. I'm not passionate about the game anymore. Playing it feels like a chore. So that's why I haven't been making videos. Uh, my free time is very limited, and I don't want my free time spent to feel like I'm working a second job making videos for a game I'm not passionate about. So, let's rewind back to Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, this is a game that was not even on my radar. I didn't play the early access. I didn't know anything about it until three days after it came out. I watched an Asmongold video reacting to Baldur's Gate 3 and people talking about how much how great the game was. And I was like... Alright, I'll look into it. So I watched a few people play, like the first, I don't know, like I'll call it the tutorial stage. If you've ever played, it's the Nautiloid section of the game. I watched like three different people play through that section. I was like, alright, this game looks cool, I'll try it out. And holy mother of god. It took me uh, 100 hours to beat the game. Like 103, something like that. This is the best game I've ever played. And I'm not just saying that because it's a the popular opinion. It is objectively the best game I've ever played. I cried at the ending. A, a tear streamed down my cheek. I was that emotionally invested in this game. And I can't wait to play it again. And that's where this comes in. I want to play it with you guys. I want you guys to join me on this experience. And not just with Baldur's Gate 3. I've never played Skyrim. I've never played Elden Ring. I've never played Fallout. There are so many of these, like, really amazing, I'm sure, at least I'm hoping they're amazing, fantasy RPG games that I never gave a fair chance because I was too busy being a toxic WoW nerd. So, yeah, I'm just looking to share those experiences with you guys. However, Going from a niche game content creator or content creator for a niche game like Raid and pivoting into a variety could potentially be the death of a channel. So that's where this survey comes in. I'd like you guys to give me your honest feedback. I posted this five hours ago. It says, how interested would you be in content covering games other than Raid, such as Baldur's Gate 3, Skyrim, Elden Ring, and other fantasy RPG titles. There are tons of them out there that I... Baldur's Gate 3 was an eye-opener for me. It really made me want to explore the genre more. And if I'm doing that in my free time, I'm not going to have free time to make videos on a game I don't really enjoy playing that much anymore. So I want to gauge your guys' interest. Okay? So, so far there's 17 votes, with a very interested taking the majority, and somewhat interested just below that. Now, you're not going to hurt my feelings. This is just to let me know if I should 
upload this content to this channel or make a new channel. If the vast majority of people are either very interested or somewhat interested, I will rebrand my channel, come up with a new name for it. So, which gets me to this. Jack Becker, back, Becker? I don't know how to pronounce it. I apologize. Um, first of all, thank you for watching. Um, one of the earliest subscribers to my channel, one of the first people to join the community Discord. He's been very active in my Discord. He's he's one of the core members of my community. Asked a great question. He says, question would be how you do it. Still in the educational format or let's plays? And how about branding? So it would be a combination of both. I would probably live stream the, con the content. Uh... Or maybe just do like 45 minute to hour and a half uploads for most of the games. And then if it is a game that would lend itself to educational content, such as Baldur Ga Baldur's Gate 3, um, I would do educational content on it. Like right now, I have a ton of ideas for like build guides for Baldur's Gate 3. Similar to Raid, Baldur's Gate 3 is like, there's a ton of ways you can customize your characters. So, like, I, you just have to see it. It, it. it uses the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition systems and rule sets. So it's basically like you're playing D&D, but in a video game instead of on top of a table. And the depth of complexity is very high. And I've been just theory crafting tons of stuff. But in order for me to make those guides, I have to do another play. Because when I did my first playthrough, I wasn't doing it with the intent of making content for the game. I was just playing it and having fun. So I didn't keep a lot of the items that I would need to sort of do particular builds and things. So on my next playthrough, I'm going to keep everything, not sell anything, just hoard all of the cool niche loot that kind of enables you to make a certain build so that I can, if I want to do a guide on one thing or another, I can have access to those items and do all the guides that I want to do. And I figured if I'm going to be playing it through and recording it for guides, I might as well share the playthroughs with you guys. So, those are my plans. Um, if I do this on this channel, I'll probably change the name of the channel to Learn to Play Guides and Gaming. Something like that. Um, but yeah, I just, I really want to get your guys' input. Uh, you can either leave your thoughts in the comments, you can come join the discussion on my community Discord, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Um, I'll, I'll make a pinned comment too, just so it's really easy to find. You can come chat with me there. Um, or just vote on the survey. You can just go to my YouTube channel, and then there's... Here. If you go over to this community tab right here, and then it should be the top one, right here. Okay, so vote on this, leave a comment, come join the discussion on my community Discord, let me know your thoughts. The more feedback I get, the better. Because the last thing I want to do is start uploading content for games that aren't raid, and watch my subscriber count plummet, and then just my channel go down the toilet. Um, so if you guys are not interested in variety gaming, please let me know, and please be honest. Because if it turns out that no one's interested, I'll make a separate channel and I'll make sure that the guys who are interested know where to find that channel. So, that's all for this one. Sorry I haven't been uploading videos for Raid. It's just, I don't find the game fun anymore. So, I'm doing other things that I enjoy instead. So, thank you for watching um, this video and thank you for watching all my other videos. Thank you for the support. It's really been humbling to see my channel grow in this last year. So, that's going to be all for this one. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.